All right, so I've got in here... That's why it's got a kind of a rusty brown colour. So this is iron 3 plus in solution. The first thing I'm going to do is add some HCl. HCl solution. HCl is a strong acid. The HCl solution is completely split up into H plus, H3O plus and chloride. There are no HCl molecules in here. The major species present in there is water, H3O plus, and Cl minus. So this is a source of Cl minus. So if I add this <coughs> to the beaker, we know that water can act as a ligand, and water is bonded to the metal, and now chloride is the ligand. So I've gone from having water as my ligand Now I've got six chlorines attached to the metal It's still iron 3 plus But instead of having iron 3 plus bonded to six waters Which are neutral It's now bonded to six chlorides So the charge on the whole thing is now 3 minus 3 plus at the centre surrounded by 6 minuses. One thing transition metals are really good, and one of the things we'll talk about when we're talking about their medicinal applications is that they're really good at bonding to things that we don't necessarily want in our body, like cyanide. If you have cyanide poisoning, you, you, you're going to take a medicine which is basically a metal salt. In fact, they use iron 3 plus, they use this. I'm not going to use cyanide, I'm going to use thiocyanate. Thiocyanate is also not very good for you, but it's not quite as bad as cyanide. It has a low power at both ends if you draw the little structure. So I'm going to add potassium thiocyanate. And we've got a. We've got a Red wine. I was trying to think of a colour. Red wine. It's a bit more brown than, than a... No, red wine? Yeah. Perhaps a port. <laughs> so now the cyanide takes the place of the chloride. Now it's iron bonded to six thiocyanates. Iron three plus in the middle of six negative charges. So it still has a three minus charge. How could you is it bonding with a lone pair of the sulfur end or the nitrogen end? Can you tell from whether I've written a formula? Yeah. So it's bonding with the sulfur because I've written the sulfur end next to the iron. That's how I knew. You didn't know. You can't tell by looking at our red wine, but it's, it's the sulfur that's bonded. Our transition is ten to light sulfurs and light blues. This is exactly the kind of thing you have in amino acids. And then the last thing I'm going to do is add a load of um, fluoride ions. So I've got sodium fluoride. I'm going to add an F minus, and the F minus is going to replace the thiocyanate. Now I'm going to have Fe three plus surrounded by six F minuses. So the charge on the complex ion will be 3 plus there, 6 F minuses, the whole charge is 3 minus. Okay, it's not a trick question. It's 3 minus. So this is spectacular and it gets rid of the colour. So add the chloride ion. Rosé? It's not quite gone colourless, but it's lost. It's gone back to a uh, um, lemon squash. 
And that's our 